Mauricio Pochettino is the new boss at PSG. It's official now. He signed a three-year deal with the Parisian club. I'm your boy, the HOD of the PSB. Welcome back to the Pitch Side Podcast channel. Like, share, comment on this video. What do you think of this assignment, of course, by PSG? And subscribe, most importantly, to the channel. Enable notifications to help us reach the 500 subscribers mark um, for the moment. Again, follow us on social media, side PSP, on Twitter, Pitch Side Pod, on Instagram. And let's crack on, of course, with this sort of reaction to this um, news. Um, again, I talked about the deal already. It was eminent that he's going to be the new boss at PSG since the um, sacking of Thomas Tuchel a while ago. Um, and I talked in the uh, early video, of course, you can check it out on the channel if you want to, uh, about what are going to be the challenges for Mauricio Pochettino mm -hmm. at PSG. Um, now I'm going to dive into that a little bit more since he's now officially the new coach at the club. I think there is expectations on two different levels for um, Mauricio Pochettino at the club. First of all, the expectations in terms of the structure of the club. And what I mean is, not exactly a director sort of thing. It's not exactly a hierarchical or a um, sort of administrative kind of thing or, or, or the board level. I'm meaning a structure of the club in terms of the way he plays. Because PSG, in the latter days of Thomas Tuchel, have sort of changed drastically. I mean, the period after they won the Richard the final of the Champions League and, and they lost against Bayern, it was a turmoil period for PSG. The start wasn't exactly good in Ligue 1. They lost a couple of games that are not at their most comfortable now in Ligue 1. They, uh, I think they are second um, ahead of this, uh, ahead of the return, of course, of Ligue 1. Next week, it's going to be... Um, they are second on the um, on the table behind Lille, um, they're really sort of lagging in terms of the performances compared to last season, compared to the period where they seem to reach their peak in the Champions League. And a side like PSG playing with the 3-5-2, with the potential that they have, and with Neymar, Mbappe and Di Maria up front playing a 3-5-2 at certain points, it is bonkers. Thomas Tuchel certainly... I mean, his momentum was derailed by the end and the spats with Leonardo, the spats with the, um, the the board of the members, the French media also didn't really adhere uh, to, to him uh, in these latter parts of his career at PSG. So it, it wasn't exactly expected that he's going to stay a lot. So Maurizio Pochettino now coming, he has a lot of expectations in terms of that. And now he needs to find a stable shape for PSG. Will he remain a sort of... Um, loyal person to the 4-3-3 that PSG were using so uh, for a while now with Neymar and Mbappe and Di Maria up front. Will he change it um, to a 4-2-3-1 like he used to do in Tottenham of course? And that transitions us and segues us I think nicely towards a big part of his uh, plan at the club which is the transfer window, the transfers coming for PSG. And there's been a big pool of talent and a big pool of players assigned and associated with uh, Mauricio Pochettino and PSG. Deli Alli and Christian Eriksen, former Tottenham mates, of course. The Tottenham connection there with Mauricio Pochettino. Lionel Messi um, was linked with um, PSG, and it's a very, very understandable sort of link. The two guys are Argentine. There's, there's going to be the language. Mauricio Pochettino, of course, has been um, really adamant that he wanted to train Lionel Messi, wanted to manage Lionel Messi. He almost went ahead and had the job at Barcelona, but he said that he didn't want to coach Barcelona, which a wasted opportunity probably for Barcelona but now at PSG there's a whole host of players that are linked with that club. Um, Dele Alli and Christian Eriksen in particular I think were the biggest names that spring to mind and I don't think that both of them will be at PSG in January. I think maybe one of them at the very best will join that club and potentially I would say it looks like Christian Eriksen would be the more um, sort of um, you know likely option than Deli Ali to join at that club because Christian Eriksen, I think he fits the mold of Mauricio Pochettino really well. He's one of those players that Mauricio Pochettino really um, was his practically his right hand at Tottenham at certain points in his uh, stint there in, in the Premier League. Um, he's an incredible player, an incredible talent. We all know that. He's been a focal part of that Champions League final campaign in 2019, which was, I think, everything was derailed afterwards for him and for uh, Tottenham. Ironically, it was it is the same for PSG, losing the Champions League final 
um, and being derailed afterwards and the coach has been sacked around November to December. Like it is, there's so much similarities between Maurizio Pochettino's arc so far as a manager with Tottenham and then moving to PSG and now Thomas Tuchel and potentially a move to um, Arsenal if everything goes wrong with Mikel Arteta on the other side. Now the other, the second of course biggest expectation is in terms of the Champions League. I mentioned that in the video about Marisa Pochettino when it was still sort of almost conferred speculation, not exactly um, a, a done deal that he would be the manager of PSG, that a team like PSG already reached the final. So now it's not about reaching another final, it's about actually winning the competition. For Marisa Pochettino, as someone who's been there, who'd done that feat of reaching the Champions League final but didn't win it, also, he would have a big motivation and with drastically better side than Tottenham. Like, un I understand that my people, some people might take it as a slight against Tottenham, but really, PSG are a better side, understandably, and, you know, well beyond the expectations. It was well beyond the expectations, sorry, of Tottenham to reach the Champions League final in 2019, but it was in the scope of PSG to reach the final in 2020. It was pretty much the normal culmination of what they have been doing for the last four to five to six years, maybe not just in, ter not in terms of performance necessarily, but in terms of their spending and the ambition, the hype they had around them for the last decade or so. So Maurizio Pochettino, someone who's been there, who done that with Tottenham, who reached the Champions League final again and failed, who made Tottenham back into the Premier League title contention once again, who um, really um, increased the level of a lot of players. I mean, Deli Alley and Christian Eriksen in particular, I think Deli Alley, the guy who was in Milton Keynes Dones a couple of years ago, like he wasn't exactly playing the biggest at uh, the biggest stage of, of football. And he was, and he is now at Tottenham, he's um, an international uh, in England really, but his stock might fall a lot, of course, and uh, Mourinho, same, similar to Christian Eriksen as well. So the two former Tottenham players are necessarily the biggest candidates to join the Pochettino uh, ranks at PSG once the transfer window really kicks off. Next, and then Messi, of course. This option is out of left field, really, because Messi said that he is staying at Barcelona, his future is still not determined, that he wants to play in the MLS and the whole sort of mix up in the interview at Sextus. So that might throw a big, big um, damper at the projects of bringing Messi to PSG, potentially alongside the likes of Neymar, Mbappe, and his big, big, biggest friends of his, of course, Neymar and Di Maria as well. So. It remains only a financial problem in terms of uh, could they bring Messi to PSG with the current wages that he's on, with Neymar's wages, Mbappe's wages, Di Maria's wages. Um, and, you know, financially, PSG might have to do a lot, lot more than just bring in Messi by a... because they're going to be bringing him with a huge fee, expectedly, if you're going to be bringing Messi to the club. So, we'll see how that is going to uh, pan out, of course. Again, this is the two biggest axes, I think, Marissa Pochettino would really focus on. Try to find a stable shape of the club, sort of bring the stability back to PSG, because they lost it in the last four months months really league and performances have not been exactly good and um, they i think in my opinion and if you look at it from a close scope they barely nicked a place in the round of 16 really uh, they didn't exactly look at their best in the champions league and also you have the transfer window expectations who's just going to be bringing in how he's going to be introducing these players that he's going to be bringing in because for sure there will be a spree of shopping for PSG. Not necessarily in terms of buying a lot of players, but I think in buying particular targets that Borussia Pochettino would need. Again, Deliani, Christian Eriksen, former Tottenham mates are going to be top of that list um, anyway. Um, that's all. This is my quick reaction, I think, to uh, the official appointment of Maurizio Pochettino as the head coach of uh, PSG. Could he bring them to that edge closer and give them that extra level to win the Champions League or will it just stop at winning another French treble as last season we will know uh, as the season progresses of course league as still to be returning um, this week around um, in the end like share comment on this video what do you think of the situation as a whole subscribe to the channel most importantly enable notifications 
um, receive all the updates of the podcast and the other content on this channel. Um, listen to the podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you can get it from. Follow us on social media. I'm at SidePSP on Twitter, BitchSidePod on Instagram. And I was your boy, the HOD of the PSP. You'll see me soon. Goodbye.